All right, boys and girls, we're starting a new lesson today. We're on 1.8, Estimate Differences. Um, we're actually going to skip page 49 because most of that is about compatible numbers. And so we'll start on page 50 today. Now remember, when you're watching the videos and you're working through your workbook with the video, it is your job to, to think to yourself, am I understanding this? Am I getting this? And if you are, fantastic. If you're not, Rewatch some of it so you can learn the skill because that's what the whole point of the video is for is to teach you the skill and let you feel more comfortable. Okay, all right, let's get started on page 50 where it says another way we're going to use place value to round, and this is something we've been doing a little bit already. But this is going to be a subtraction problem instead of addition, which, we're, which is what we've been using mostly. Step one, we are going to round 436 to the nearest 10. 436, we're going to round that first because that's our first number in the subtraction problem. And they want us to round it to the nearest 10. So always, like we talked about before, always make sure you're reading the directions closely so you know what number to round to. All right? Now, 436, we're going to look at the digit in the ones place, and that is that six ones. And 6 is greater than 5, so our 10s column, which happens to have the digit 3, goes up by 1. And so when we write that then, 436 rounded to the nearest 10 is 440. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, like we talk about all the time, draw your number line. 436 is our number. So we can use 430, and we're rounding to the nearest 10, so that's why it's 430, or 440. Right in the middle, 400, you should be saying to yourself 35. And 436 goes right about here, okay? That's far 436 is right about there. Whoops. 436. And it is closer to 440 than it is to 430. So that's why it is 440. Okay. So that's step one. And now we can go to step two. Rounding 387 to the nearest 10. Again, look at the digit in the ones place which is the 7, and the 7 is greater than 5, so the digit 8 increases by 1, meaning 387 is closer to 390. And again, if that doesn't make sense for you, draw out your number line, and our number that we're working with is 387, right? So our choice is going to be 380, since we're rounding to the nearest 10, 380 or 390. And we draw the number in the middle, like always, and you should be saying to yourself, that needs to be 385. And then 387 goes somewhere about here. And that shows us that 387 is closer, excuse me, is closer to 390 than it is to 380. And that's why we wrote 390 here. Now we can, we, we've rounded, we need to find the difference of the rounded numbers. Difference, by the way, right here, difference, tells us that is the answer to a subtraction problem. Sum means an addition problem. Difference tells us subtraction. So we have 440 minus 390. We're going to subtract the ones column first. 0 minus 0 is 0. And then we move to the tens column. 4 minus 9. Well, I can't do that. I can't have 4 of something and take 9 away. So that means we need to go over to the hundreds column, regroup things. So we could cross out our 400, take 100 away, and that's going to give us 300. And then 100 is made up of 10 tens. So we're going to take those 10 tens, add them to the 4 tens that we already have, 
and that's going to give us 14 tens. Now I can subtract my tens column. 14 minus 9 is 5 tens. And I subtract the hundreds column next. 3 minus 3 is 0. Since that's my very first digit in a hundred, right? And I have no other digits over here in the thousands or anything. Nothing over here in the thousands. Uh, since we have zero, we don't write the zero in there like this. Okay, that looks just strange, right? So if we have a zero as our very first number, we don't even include it. So there's our answer. 50 is our answer. 4, 436 minus 387. Now that's the estimate though, right? So that's our estimate. It's 50. Our answer is about 50. And we've talked about this before. Whenever we see the word about, that means we need to, I'll get it written here, estimate. The word about tells us to estimate. I'll squeeze that in here, sort of. I got it. There we go. About tells us to estimate. Okay, let's go to try this. And we'll work through this a little faster. Usually, I tell you guys, when we see numbers in the hundreds, we're going to round to the nearest hundred. And in this case, that's exactly what we're going to do. 761 rounded to the nearest hundred is 800. 528 rounded to the nearest hundred is, and you should be saying to yourself, well, Mr. P, that's 500. Now we can subtract. 800 minus 500 is 300. Okay. I do want you to pause the video to do problem B on your own. After you've done problem B on your own, then start up the video again to check and see how you did. Remembering, we are estimating, and since these numbers are in the hundreds, we are going to round to the nearest hundred. So go ahead and pause the video, do the assignment, or do that problem rather, and then restart it and see how you did. All right, I'm assuming you've restarted your video they did 287 for you. They rounded that to 300. We need to round 642 to the nearest 100, and it rounds to 600. Okay. Hopefully you've used some kind of strategy to get that. Maybe you had to draw a number line. That's totally fine. Now I need to my, do my subtraction of 600 minus 300, and I'll start with my ones column here first, 0 minus 0. Well, that's 0. Move over to my tens column next, 0 minus 0. That is also 0. Now I can do my hundreds column, 600 minus 300, that is 300, and that's our answer as far as an estimate goes, okay? All right, so now that we've walked through those, again, if you feel comfortable, go on to the share and show problems. If you're still confused, go back, rewatch some of the video. The share and show problems, I, you can cross out number one on page 51, just do two, three, and four, and again, you're rounding and finding the estimate. Um, and then after you do share and show, bring me your work, please. I do want to check those three problems to make sure you're, you're on the right path. And then you can choose from your choices that will be listed on the whiteboard. Good luck today. And as always, I'm Mr. P. And I am out.